Hey everybody, week 88 on the Real DVD Watchers. I've been gone for quite a while, but I'm going to come back and do this kind of quick review of a film that I watched the other week. It is by all means a terrible film. Female Convict Scorpion Jailhouse 41. This film may not interest everybody. Uh, I thought it would interest me, because exploitation kind of has a fun value to it. It's, it's entertaining for the most part, and uh, Pinky Violence, uh, the, the Pinky Violence era is very entertaining as well, especially Sex and Fury, and the first female prisoner Scorpion was actually a good film, uh, for what it was anyway. This film is an utterly, an utterly, utterly terrible film. There are no likeable characters in it whatsoever. Um, you might argue that, they're, yes, they're all prisoners, but... Um, they're just hot. They're just all horrible characters, and uh, even in the first one, I kind of felt sorry for Scorpion. But in this one, she didn't say one fucking word, and I just, I just didn't like it whatsoever, or her. Um, it's a nasty, mean-spirited, brutal film that should be avoided at all costs by pretty much everybody. Um, if you if you get the box set and you and you watch all three of them, then yeah, obviously watch the second one. But don't expect anything, because I did, and I was severely disappointed. Basically, Female Prisoner Scorpion is um, a series about uh, Meiko Kaji's character Scorpion, who is a prisoner, a female prisoner, in case you couldn't tell um, from the title. And in the first one, she goes into um, she goes into prison after she's like I think she's raped. And then she gets out and swears revenge on the people who did it, and gets her revenge. And then she's back in prison in the second one, because she attacked this guard in the first one, and took his eye out. And the guard is like, hates her and stuff, and tortures her, and keeps her down in this cellar. And he's a twat, but you'd expect him to be a twat. She doesn't help herself, really. Um, she never speaks, whatsoever. She is an annoying bitch, to be honest. Uh, I just did not like this film or her whatsoever. I give this film... Two and a half out of ten. Terrible film. Um, it is very messed up as well, actually. It, as I said, it was mean-spirited, and there's nothing nice about it. Um, so, don't watch it if you don't know what you're getting into it's awful but I don't know if it moves the story along because I've yet to watch the third one I've heard it's better than this and almost as good as the first if not better but yeah terrible film and it tries to have a heart to it as well like halfway through with this old woman who they find and like she she like tries to reach down to the inner emotions of all the prisoners and tries to get deep on you but it's it's awful it really is and I was just hoping like the bus that they were getting away on would just blow up and kill them all but it didn't so sadly that didn't happen and sadly this film was 92 minutes instead of zero minutes instead of not existing because it was awful so I hated that film, like the first one, so it's worth picking up for the first one if you like exploitation, pinky violence um, specifically. That's been my review of Female Prisoner Scorpion Jailhouse, Female Convict Scorpion Jailhouse 41. I will never ever watch this film again, I don't think, um, unless I rewatch the box set and I forget how bad this one was. But yeah, there are some films that are bad and they're so good that they're bad. Uh, they're so bad that they're good, sorry. This is not one of them, this is just bad. And it's painful to watch because it thinks it's good. So, yeah, don't watch it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next week. And I'll see you all on my channel as well. So, bye everybody.